Okay, beautiful. So welcome everybody to Friday afternoon, Akash greetings. My name is Lynn. And if you're here, you're going to have an experience of, you're very welcome. You're gonna have an experience of what it is to have your Akashic records read. Laura Lee, hi, sweet girl. So good to see you. Welcome everybody. Hi, Kevin. Hey, Matiku. Welcome, welcome. Got a few people that are still dialing in. Hi, Dania. Oh, I'm so glad that you came, babe. It looks like you've been having a great time. I'm glad to hear that. Hi, Danny. Hi, Kat. Okay. So, the Akashic Records. The Akashic Records are the universe's iCloud of every experience, every thought, every action we have ever had through all of our incarnations, and to further blow our minds, it's all happening simultaneously because the time-space continuum that we've been given has been given to us from spirit so that we didn't, sorry, I'm getting a call. Um, we didn't blow up from experiencing loving, dying, being killed, killing, and everything else all at once. So it gives us a chance to go through these cycles of what it is to be human or Arcturian or Pleiadian or Syrian or you know whatever galaxy or universe you hail from, because we've been all of it. I came across the Akashic Records when I was 11 years old. And my mom gave me a copy of a book by Edgar, about Edgar Cayce that was called The Sleeping Prophet, written by a man named Jess Stern. And Edgar was this man who would go into trance. Hi, Lori. Looks like you're out in the rain in an umbrella. Um, or maybe it's just the sunshine. I'm in Palm Springs right now and people use umbrellas to block the sun. It's, it's quite amazing. So Edgar Casey would go deeply into a trance and he would bring information back from a person's Akashic records. And it would be information about why they have the fears that they do, you know, why they have certain things that they love or certain things that they hate why they had the relationships that they did with people. You know, what was the karma that they still needed to complete in a particular dynamic? Why they had the addictions that they had, why they had the illnesses that they had. And then he would also go in and make suggestions about what they could eat or drink or consume or apply topically to heal whatever these afflictions were. He loved to recommend castor oil to people. Castor oil has phenomenal healing properties. So there was a point when I lived down in Virginia and the ARE, his Institute for Research and Enlightenment is down there. And it was like a spiritual Disneyland for me. I loved going there. It was literally on the Atlantic Ocean. And as you stood at the top of his center, you looked out over the Atlantic and I swear to God, Atlantis could just like rise out of the ocean. It was really fascinating. And I just fell in love with the Akashic Records, but my understanding was you needed to go to India have your Akashic records read. And that wasn't in the plans. And then all of a sudden, back in 2017, a girlfriend of mine named Tiffany writes on her Facebook, hey, I just got trained to read the Akashic records and I need to practice on some people. And I called her up on the phone. I was like, oh my God, you have to practice on me. Please, 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 please. And she's like, of course. I said, I've been fascinated with the Akashic records since I was 11. So this was, what, six years ago when I was 56? Anyway, so she read my records and I was so blown away, it confirmed so many things that I had known. And I said, how did you get trained? And she said, there's a woman named Linda Howe and she wrote a book and then she trained so-and-so who trained so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. She, she was like five or six degrees away from Linda. So I went to Linda on Facebook and I signed up for her page. And then she announced at the end of 2017 that she was going to be doing a training. And I didn't care what it took. I was going to be in this training. Sure, selling my cat for medical experiments. I was going to be in this training. So I paid what to me was an exorbitant amount of money at the time for this three-month program. There were 48 of us around the world that came together. And we started practicing the Akashic Records, learning to read and practicing. We graduated. We all became advanced Akashic Records practitioners. 
And the very first time I went into the Akashic Records, these beings were jumping up and down, screaming, Halls of Amenti, Halls of Amenti, Halls of Amenti. And I was terrified out of my mind. I closed the records and I was like, what the hell just happened? So I reached out to Linda and I typed. And it was very interesting. She taught us on a platform that was called Learn It Live. That's very, very similar to what Zoom is. You know, a bunch of people in a room interacting with each other. And I said, Linda, what happened? And she said, they're obviously very excited to see you. Ask them to calm down, to slow down. So I go back in and I'm like, hello. Like, I'm just terrified. I'm, I had no idea what was happening. I never had anything like that. And they said, welcome back, beloved. You are a guardian of the records. And I'm like, what does that mean? They said the halls of Menti were where the Akashic records were kept in Atlantis. And then that library was moved to Egypt. And, she, you know, they were like, you you were in Egypt, you were in Atlantis, you're a guardian of the records, you're going to be teaching people how to read the records. And I was like, no, I'm not. I think it just seemed outlandish and ridiculous to me. And yet here I am today. What are we? October something, uh, 2023. And I teach people to read the Akashic records. I teach people so much more than that, but that's definitely a big part of it. And one of my great joys is to come here every other Friday and to sit down with people like you, people I've never met. And uh, I'm going to ask Laura Lee. Normally, I, ha I have an assistant named um, Bianca that's here. Bianca is very, very psychic. And Bianca normally chooses the person who's going to get their records read. But I'm going to invite Laura Lee to make that choice today. Hi, Claudia. Welcome. So one of you will be chosen to have their records read today. So when I read a person's records, I, because I am an oracle, which is like a channel, but even broader, I go deeply into a trance and your masters, teachers, and loved ones will come forth with information. I want you to think of one or two or three questions that you would like to ask of them, and then just be prepared for a crazy spiritual light show. <laughs> because I, Lynn, and my dazzling personality is completely gone, and one of your masters, teachers, or loved ones or the Lords of the Records will come forth with the information. I also teach people how to read the records. I teach people how to do healing work in the records. I teach people how to find their soul purpose. I teach people how to open up their psychic abilities and so much more. Um, I think that's it. Are there any questions that anybody has before we go in? I'm so glad you're all here. Thank you, wherever it is that you're dialing in from. It's great to have you here. All right, Laura Lee, did I forget anything, baby? Okay, all right. So Laura Lee, I ask you to put on your psychic cap, which isn't very difficult because I know you wear it all the time like I do. <laughs> and please choose who is meant to have their records read today. Hmm. And if you're not chosen today, please come back because we do this every other week and I love doing this. It's truly one of my favorite things to do in a week. So if, if your name doesn't get chosen today, please, I invite you to come back. Okay, babe, you can unmute yourself. Hello. Hi, I, sweetheart. I knew, I knew you needed me today. I don't know why. Baby, <laughs> I, you have no idea. I was like, how did she go? Laura Lee used to work for me and um, she did a lot of training with me and now she's off, you know, living her own gorgeous life. And thank you so much for hearing the call because Kat's here. Um, but anyway, thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me and You're since welcome. the beginning of this call my eyes and everything were just drawn to I don't know if it's your name Matiku Matiku yeah okay yeah so is Matiku yes. your yes. Is, my is name Matiku? is Tesfa Mariam is Mariam is Mother Mary Tesfa is Hope of Mother Mary Matiku mm -hmm. is my last name Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, so te, tes fa Miriam, Miriam, yeah, fa Miriam, Miriam, Mother okay. Mary, Miriam. I love that. Mitiko is the last name. Okay, yeah. gorgeous. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to just take a breath, go within, and think of two or three questions. It's so funny. Mother Mary just walked in the room. Oh, I've got goosebumps. Um, two or three questions that you would want to know from the Akashic Records. So how this goes is I'm going to say a prayer. 
part of the prayer is said aloud and part of it is said silently. Then I'm, you're gonna hear me announce the records are now open. And one of your masters, teachers, loved ones, or the Lords of the Records will come forth and have a conversation with you and answer whatever questions you have. They come and they're so loving and you've been invited here by them. It's not me, it's not because of how charming I am. <laughs> you're here because your soul said, show up today. And again, if you guys didn't get chosen today, please come back because we're here, we're here all the time. Okay. All right. Tesfa Miriam, do you have a middle name? Yes. Okay, hold on one second. I gotta, they want me to write this down. Okay, Oop. I gotta turn off some alarms. Okay, all right. So my love, will you type in the chat your full name? Including your middle name. Okay. Is it Okbe? Okbe, yes. Okbe. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. And where are you calling in from today? I am in Maryland. Okay. But I was born in Eastern Africa called Ethiopia in a place called Tigray where there was civil war recently. Uh, my family is from... Um, my family is from Western Africa. Uh, you know, I did that Ancestry.com DNA and we were always told that my father and his family were from South America, from Guyana. And all of a sudden it comes back and I'm like, 13%, 13% African. My father was 27% African. And my, my grandmother, I mean, it was just, it was crazy. And then, it also said I was 38% Jewish, which was on my mother's side. So I'm like, I'm Sammy Davis Jr. I'm black and Jewish. I'm all the minorities and a woman. <laughs> Very humbling. So Lynn, I was going through changes and I'm a medical doctor and I was going through a dark night of soul. Yes. There was, I have a son who is eight, who is diabetic on insulin. Mm. We were praying for Mother Mary to heal him. Yes. So there was a fight between me and my wife. I am a spiritual, but we couldn't understand. So I went to prison for a week. And then they sent me to mental house because I was a spiritual. They think I'm getting crazy. <laughs> now I couldn't be in Michigan. I came with family. I almost closed my practice. Mm -hmm. My wife was calling me today. The practice is foreclosure. The house is foreclosure. I lost all of it. <laughs> so I say, God knows why I'm on earth. I will go through whatever happened. So where, that's where I am. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and open your records. And then I want you to have a conversation with your guidance and you ask them whatever questions you need to, okay? All right, my darlings, here we go. We're going in. You'll see me yawn as I transition. And so we do acknowledge the forces of light, asking for guidance, direction, and courage to know the truth as it is revealed for our highest good and the highest good of everyone connected to us. Oh, Holy Spirit of God, Help me to know, Tess for Miriam, in the light of the Akashic Records. To see Tess for Miriam through the eyes of the Lords of the Records and enable me to share the wisdom and compassion that the masters, teachers, and loved ones of Tess for Miriam have for him.
the records are now open. We greet you, beloved one. We welcome you and we thank you for receiving through your heart our invitation for you to come forth. We know that you have been troubled. We know that you have been unwilling to allow yourself to disconnect from us. And beloved, what we wish to say to you first is that we love you. We feel your pain. We know your suffering. And we are here to say to you, beloved one, that the light that you carry within your heart, within your soul, within your will, is a divine revelation of the will of God. While the world seems to have fallen apart and been taken from you, beloved one, you must understand that the truth of you has nothing to do with the circumstances or the conditions. That you have stayed true to your beliefs, that you have stayed true to your faith, that can never be taken from you. They may destroy your home, your career, even your body. But beloved one, your soul is eternal. We know that you wish a peaceful life, beloved one. We know that you have felt this has been a difficult path that you have chosen. We know that you feel that you are being tested, beloved one. We want you to know that you are not alone. Beloved, let us remind you of the aspect of your soul that has chosen to walk this path. You are what one would consider to be a sin eater, shall we say. These are beings of the highest degree of light who choose to come in and walk a path that is dark, where attachments and things that you love feel as if they are being taken from you. And yet, you remain within your heart, pure. There are many who will come in and take on the ills of others. You have and always will be a healer, beloved son. We open the platform now to you. What specific questions do you have? For us, precious one. Any help for remembrance who in the past experienced life I had and what the next vocation I should involve in? Beloved, you are not of this planet. You come from a star that is called Ark Taurus. You come as a healer. You have a gift of healing within your hands. We would ask you to call upon that of our beloved brother, Yeshua and Joseph. He is known to many as Lord Jesus, ask him to come to you. Ask him to come through you so that together the two of you may lay your hands upon the bodies and pull from them their darkness, pull from them their illness. You have this training. You have this wisdom. 
you are familiar with him from incarnations. You were together in land that is known as India. Prior to the walks that he did, when he incarnated as Yeshua ben Joseph, you have communication with him. You have knowledge and understanding of him. Allow yourself to remember your connection. Bring his energy into your being and allow the energy of source to move through both of you. When you lay your hands upon another, you will draw the dark energy from them transmute it from you to him, and then he will transmute it back to source light. You will become renowned for the healings that you will do, and this will provide you with a living. There is forgiveness that you must apply to those who have been afraid of your light your power and your gifts, beloved one, for those who do not understand you. Do you accept this calling? Yes, I love it. You were designed for this, beloved one. Beloved, this is work that this oracle, Sahana Grace, has done as well. She can help to teach and to guide you. We have drawn you here for you two to have a conversation. She will be of assistance to you. Beloved, you must understand as well that your child and your wife may not understand. Your son does. Understand that at the end of an incarnation, when all are gathered and the life reviews occur, they will understand and remember as well. But understand that they must play the role that you have asked them to play for you. Your faith is great. Your will is that of steel. Beloved, know one thing, that our blessings are with you. In other incarnations, you had not believed others, and you are now incurring and releasing that karma by not being believed as well. At the end of this cycle, it will not matter who does or does not believe you, for your faith is unwavering. You have sisters in the world. You have brothers in the world. You have many who will walk this path with you. Mother Mary is a friend of yours. She has the healing energy comes through her as well. You will work with both she and Yeshua. Beloved, are there any other questions you have for us? Was my son my prior master teacher? He teach me a lot while he was five. Yes, <laughs> yes. And this is why he understands your gift. Beloved, he came in much like you as one who could bear the illnesses that he carries for the light that lives within him. He is indeed a master as you are, beloved one. Indeed. He said, I am Jesus. <laughs> He feels Jesus all the time. 
you have an aspect of Yeshua that you carry within you. You have an energetic bond with him. This light will live within you always. This is why he is able to feel this within you. You have a remembrance of Jesus. You are an aspect of this collective. Any connection to the Buddha uh, Tibetan? Because when I feel that, I feel to cry, I couldn't know why. Indeed, beloved, this was a very significant incarnation for you. One in which you and he was not known as Yeshua at the time, but one in which the two of you studied together. Your Indian incarnations. You have had several. Understand that being known as a doctor is indeed that of a healer, but you have never been one to believe in the ways of Western medicine. You understand that the healing comes from within. It is a gift from God. There is much wisdom within you, beloved one, that will come to light. You will allow yourself to remember and just continue to forgive those who cannot see the truth, for they live within the shadows of fear. All will be revealed, beloved one. All will be revealed. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your attention. Know that you are blessed. Know that. All is well. We love you. And indeed, we will speak with you again. This transmission is complete. Thank you. I love you. Okay, hold on. There's a closing prayer. I'd like to thank the masters, teachers, and loved ones for their love and compassion. I would like to thank the lords of the Akashic Records for their point of view. And I would like to thank the Holy Spirit of Light for all knowledge and healing. The records are now closed. Amen. The records are now closed. Amen. The records are now closed. Amen. Oof. Hmm. Oh. How was that? Thank you so much. I love it. You are very, very welcome. Mm. I have an invitation for all of you. If any of you have any interest to learn to read the Akashic Records to develop your psychic and healing abilities, there is a course that we offer. It starts in November. It's called Quantum Akashic Transformation. And there's information about it on my website Kat, if you could just drop the link in the notes in case anyone is interested and again if we didn't get a chance to do a reading for you today we invite you to come back it is my absolute honor to walk this path with all of you I thank you and I love you and I bless you Thank you, everybody.